Courtney with Five Thin Snakes. I'm here today with Dinah. Our special guest here is the mother of our most recently shed out clutch, hatched out clutch. Um, and this video is something a little different. We're going to be showing you um, her clutch from start to finish, from them being laid, put in their incubator boxes, all the way until we find out what is in them. So she is a banana blade heck clown female and we got really great odds on this clutch. We're really excited to show them off to you. Good? Yep, we're good. So, whose clutch are we dealing with right now? So this is Dinah, our banana heck clown possible blade along with Chai, our male clown. I'm gonna move the camera down, so just in case. There we go. So, I know you've said it before, um, but real quick, will you go, will you put some substrate in there? Yep, that's behind you. Uh -huh. um, so what we're gonna do is, Steven's gonna fill a new tub up with substrate. This new tub is nice and clean and it does not have any egg smell in it. Um, you can reach that? Yep, I'll get it. And then at, we're gonna put her in the new tub. She's keeping her eggs safe right now. We're gonna put her in the new tub after we give her a quick bath. And um, after that, after she's off the eggs, we're going to um, put them into our uh, egg box. All right, so there are a couple of different ways you can get her off. You can use a snake hook, you can use a towel to cover her head, just something to make her kind of ball up. Um, you know, you can just take her off. She's not gonna hurt you, she's little. But yeah, so we'll get that egg smell off of her. I'm just gonna feel her real quick, make sure there's no more eggs in her, but I'm pretty sure there aren't. She looks tiny. How, she was at like 1,700 grams beforehand, I believe. She just looks so small after seeing her with those eggs in her. You wanna weigh her or am I in the way right now? I think you're a little in the way right now, but yeah, no, I don't feel any eggs. You can even see how empty her tummy looks. Oh, I'm gonna fill this up. Seven eggs. Well, I'm gonna put her in here before we wash her, until okay. we wash her anyway. Yep. Um, so she's just in a little temporary house. We'll give her a bath and then we'll move her into that new house. Um, but for now, oh wow. These are, these must have just been, this one must have just been laid because you can still kind of like see oh, yeah. through it. I have not even candling it and I can see the embryo. That's cool. I'm gonna put this up. So I apologize about ruining the shot right now. Um. I mean, they love the back of your head. All right. Okay. So. When the eggs are laid, um, they create this like sticky substance that makes the eggs stay together. It prevents them from rolling around, I believe is the um, accepted reason for the stickiness. And uh, we just, because we use the diffuser, we like to peel them apart. Um, some people just put them straight how they are. You know, everyone's different in that sense. Um, I don't see any slugs in here. These are all big, pretty eggs. That one that she just laid looks so weird because it's still like see-through. Mm -hmm. All right, these are, these are really stuck together. So the pairing for this one is, uh, Courtney already said, but banana, possible blade, het clown female to a clown male. And the reason why she's possible blade is that she was sold to the people we got her from as a banana het clown female. But they felt that her pattern was really reduced and when they inquired, her parents were a blade clown male to a banana het clown female. So they were sold, she was sold to them as a banana het clown female. They think that her pattern was reduced and we'll see once these hatch if she ends up proving out to be blade or not, which either way, we don't care so much on the blade. We're just super excited for banana clowns. And what makes it so exciting, the banana coming from her? Oh yeah, yeah. So um, with the banana coming from her, okay, so you wanna weigh them or you put them straight in the, this? Um, 
I, I'll just put them straight in there. Okay. Unless you want to weigh them. No, no, it's all good. Do you want a candle? Well, I will, but after I put them in the okay. box. I can't candle awesome. them in the current setup. And uh, why he asked about candling is we like to can we like to um, incubate our eggs embryo up. Um, but yeah, so as Courtney's question beforehand was like why it's cool that she, the dame, is the banana, is that banana is a sex-linked um, morph. And by the fact that it residing on her X chromosome means that all of her baby, not all of her babies, her babies have an equal chance to be. Oh, Can you uh, pull it from up there? Yep. Um, her babies have an equal chance to be um, banana, whether they're male or female, where males generally either produce um, one sex of their babies will be banana. So if you have a male maker banana male, all of their males that they produce will be bananas. And if you have a female maker banana male, all of their females will be bananas. Right, do you want to grab the camera? Yep. All right, I'm going to move the camera around. I'm actually going to hold the camera for this shot. So. Okay. Good veins. I see veins. If you can see it, there's the embryo right there. Oh, there it is, right on top. Looks good. Ooh, those are some pretty veins. Beautiful, healthy egg. And it's a Where's the, oh, there it is. See it right there? Right there. Oh, that's a big one. See that? Mm -hmm. I think, are there two? Or is that just one? One, two? Oh, but that'll be cool if there's two. Oh, probably not. No. Okay, we want to put this one in the small incubator and we'll just take out the empty tray and put it on the top of the other ones. Sounds good. Got my person seal. Um, it might be up there. Yep, yep, it's up there. I'm gonna say why we use press and seal. Oh yeah, yeah. So we use press and seal to help hold in the humidity in the incubation box. So the humidity really needs to be like as close to 100% humidity as possible, but really anything above 90 is good. Um, so the press and seal just helps hold it inside and not let um, throughout the 60 days of incubation, the substrate to dry out. So the substrate that we use is a half and half mixture of water and vermiculite by weight. Um, so when we are incubating, I'm going to move the camera over here. So as we incubate, this is our kind of one we've been using the whole time. It's a small one. We have the other refrigerator as our big incubator. This is on a Herpstat 2. The reason why we use that is because if the thermostat fails to keep the temperature, it fails in the off position. So instead of going all the way on like a VE100 would, um, this will turn off and it will give the eggs a better chance to survive as long as we're able to catch it um, in time. I'm also going to fill up that water thing at the bottom. I feel like we should reorder these. Okay. The, the top one most likely to hatch or soonest to hatch on top? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna jump around to this other side because the lighting's a little bit better when the windows are. All right, I just gave her a bath and I was just drying her off. Uh, we're gonna weigh her real quick. Um, oops. Go big oh my god, she barely fit in the thing last time. She's 10.55. Okay, so she lost about 700 grams. Yeah, which 100 grams an egg makes sense. Um, nice big eggs. 
she was I said 1055, right? Yep. She was 1758. So 703 703 grams. She hasn't eaten since April. So hopefully she eats tomorrow. Yeah. And I'm just gonna put her back in here in her nice clean new tub. And she can go back to feeling comfortable enough to eat. Which, you know, they say that's one of the reasons is because they're more likely to eat after their eggs aren't there, but our friend Sean over at Leverage Genetics recently maternally incubated a clutch of eggs and he got the, um, he got her to eat while she was wrapped around her eggs, which is pretty cool, pretty interesting. Um, nice little experiment. I don't know how many she ate or how often she ate, but I know she took. Yeah, I remember seeing the video that he posted. Be interested to find out a little more from him. <laughs> yeah, that's Sean over at LEVR Genetics. Over genetics, he's pretty, got a pretty cool Instagram page and everything. But yeah, so we'll see. Um, we'll pick up again when those bad boys are hatching and show them off. All right. Let I'm me so, go sanitize these scissors. Okay. I'm so freaking excited. We are getting ready to cut our super, super cool clutch for the year, or at least one of them. This is our banana possible blade at clown female Dinah to our visual clown male. He's all the way back there now you can't see it because it's kind of dark, but try. So, so freaking excited. So we get to see one, if, if we have clowns, it will be our first clutch with visual recessives in it. Not supposed to be. Yeah, not supposed to be, but okay. So Courtney's getting ready to cut. Let me come so. over here. All right, what do you think it is? Banana. All right, banana. I'm gonna say regular clown. Courtney gets to see it. I don't know what she's, what's going on right now. It's a normal. <laughs> it's a normal. Okay, normal. Isn't it clown? I uh, know. I think that's no, normal. It's a normal. That's a normal. Normal. Okay. Oof. Normal. One hundred percent het clown. Big. Oh, this isn't starting off well. Big this, oof. this is what happened with our albino clutch. Oh no. No, this doesn't mean that they're yeah. all like that. But I just wasn't really expecting a normal out of it, especially not the first cut. No, I know. All right, banana. Okay, banana. Clown. Banana clown. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh <laughs> banana clown. Cursing. Oh, you're right. I can't use the audio now. <laughs> oh, I have to bleep it. Oh, I'm so freaking excited. Oh, that's so cool, banana clown. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited. Oh, all right. Oh God, I'm <laughs> need to sit down? freaking pumped. No, I'm so excited. What did you think was gonna happen? I wasn't, <laughs> honestly, after what happened with Daro and Delilah's clutch, I was afraid that she wouldn't be a clown. No, like, we got her from someone mean. Another banana. Another banana clown. Another banana clown, is it? Wait, wait. I think that might just be banana, baby. Yeah, I think you're right. I think that is just oh, banana. I'm getting a little gooey. Yeah, that's just banana, I think. Yeah, me too. Okay. Ah, uh, it's so freaking cool. I don't know. It's kind of hard to see on the sides. Mm-hmm. We'll know better when it comes out, but we've got at least one banana clown. Yep, yep. So, since the female is a banana, that means that we have equal chance for male or female bananas. This is also a banana clown. Oh, that's so freaking cool. There you can see his little eye. Oh, I'm so excited. Yeah, so we've got at least two banana clowns right here. Mm -hmm. Possible blade. We don't know yet because we have to see yeah, him come all the way out. Yeah, we have to see him come out. There's no way we'd be able to tell. You were a bad first choice, baby cakes. <laughs> Sorry about you. 
I don't think this one's uh, loud. Yeah, I think that one's just banana. 100% head clown. Maybe it's a female. Yeah. Well, so far, three out of four have been bananas, Banana. so that's some pretty good odds. What do you think? I'm gonna say... Regular clown. Okay. What are you gonna say? Um, regular clown. Ugh, he stole mine. It is a normal. Yep, normal. Cool, cool, cool. Hut clown. Yep, normal hut clown. Cool, cool, <laughs> as you had just said. So we should have roughly half as clowns, half as bananas. So we've got two so far. So again, I'm gonna say. Clown. Just a clown. This is kind of cool so far. We've got two banana clowns, two normals, one banana, another banana. That is just a belly that I can see. Yeah. This one's upside down. So okay. I have no way of knowing what this one is. All right. Unless well. I open up a lot more, which I would rather not do. Yeah, let's not. We'll just. It's... No, that's a banana clown. Oh, that's so freaking cool. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Hi. Um, trying to get in there to see. Can you see? I think it's a banana clown too, Me yep. Too. And so much for my odds theory that we'd have. <laughs> All right. Wow, no regular clowns. Not, we have one more, one more. I don't think this one's gonna be it. All right. It's another banana. Damn. Did you say yum? I said damn. Oh. That yum was funny. She just said yum. Is it the banana? Oh, sorry. Went a little too straight on this one. I don't like doing too many cuts. Another banana clown another banana. is it a clown let me let me look at it yeah, yeah. it's a banana clown are you sure yeah yep. it is. I that's a banana it. clown we got four, four banana clowns four banana clowns a banana four. het clown and two normals banana clowns that are either female makers or female bananas I'm glad you made me cut this when I didn't really want to. four banana clowns I got snake just on my hands Holy crap. Like, if those, and granted, this would be insane, but if those were females. All four of them? All four of them? That's eight. We tend dollars. to have very female heavy clutches, so it's very possible. I'd I'm like to so see. I'm so freaking excited. Here, I'll, I'll come over here, stop with the lights hitting me. Yeah. So uh, now, do so. your fist pump. I'm so freaking excited. <laughs> I'm like over there just like watching. Oh, I want to actually like look at them now because no. I was like doing the camera. I'm not going to oh, open okay. them. I'm just looking. So yeah, we got banana clown, banana clown, banana clown. Or maybe that one's the banana, I can't. No, the banana's right here. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, so banana clown. All of these are banana clowns. Normal. That one, yeah. Oh, that's so freaking cool. That is such good odds because, so we had one in four shot to get a banana clown um, per egg. We had seven eggs. So realistically, we were looking at one to two banana clowns on the odds. We didn't get any clowns, which is fine. Which is weird, and I kind of wanted a clown. But four banana clowns. And we want to hold back a male, we want to hold back a female. Um, so most likely we'll have that. I guess it could come down that they're all males or all females, but... You doing, Nola? Oh, I'm so excited. And also with the odds on it, because one of the things was we weren't sure if we were going to hold stuff back if... Um, they like we weren't going to be able to recoup our investment from it but we're going to be able to like yeah if we can get people to buy all these damn banana clouds <laughs> i'm so freaking excited i'm not a very I'm good cameraman so excited that's all right <laughs> just your head's cut off <laughs> yours getting here the whole Whee! Time. <laughs> no it's all good and like i said before we'll probably just like get bits and pieces of this and i'm imagining we'll sit down and we'll talk about like this is our whole story for it and then will cut in and out of these clips. I'm so stoked. This is pretty dope. So we're gonna sort of start least to most exciting on this clutch. And this is our <laughs> normal male 100% het clown. Uh, he's, he's a pretty normal, uh, but he is pretty normal. Um, similarly, we have a Female blade, 100% clown. You can tell the difference 
on her pattern, if you look at the sides, you see these alien heads versus that, you know, pretty big. And I actually don't think we would have realized um, that she was blade. We may have just thought we had two normals if um, we hadn't ended up getting a blade clown in the clutch. So that helped it um, out as far as identifying. This is our female banana het clown. She's really pretty. She's got really bright oranges and has that purple color to her. Um, it's pretty cool that she's a female banana and het for clowns. So all of her offspring um, will be either male or female. Um, or she can, all of her banana offspring can be either male or female, which is fun. She's really pretty. But yeah, she's just a normal banana and carries the clown trait recessively. We hatched out two male banana clowns. These pretty boys will be female maker bananas. So um, any of their offspring that carry the banana trait, if they're not paired with a female, but any offspring that gets the banana trait for them, from them will be females. Uh, and obviously they give the clown gene to any of their offspring. So paired with a visual clown, they will give 100% visual clowns. Paired with a het clown, they should give 50% clowns. Oh, they're so pretty. <laughs> they're so pretty. But yeah, we ended up with two males and one female. And she's actually, I think, the most vibrant of the three. Um, but yes, yeah, so we got Three banana clowns. I sh oh, line up. Line up so pretty. Aren't they pretty? So the most exciting of our clutch was a very, very luckily a female. We have a banana blade clown. She is beautiful. Um, and you could definitely tell she's blade. I mean, look at the difference between her sides and the uh, banana clowns you saw a second ago. Would you like to grab me one of the banana clowns to compare? Mm -hmm. uh, so this was the blade female. So you can see kind of, hers isn't nearly as reduced because she's not a clown, but um, you can see how blade reduces the sides um, and compared to a regular banana clown, it's really reduced on the sides, but it still has that really cool dorsal stripe that the banana clowns have that have both the purple and the orange and she's got the beautiful head stamp i think this girl's head stamp is my favorite the way it kind of uh i don't know swirls his <laughs> earmuffs that's a good one yeah her beats by dre but yeah there's are pretty banana girls banana clown girls so this girl's a hold back this is you like my broken nail um, this is a holdback. This is Fiona. Um, so in a couple years, she'll hopefully be giving us some more banana blade clowns with, you know, fire and entry and disco. <laughs> there we go. Very excited about these girls. Thank you so much for watching of Diana and Chai's clutch. We were really excited. This has been our most exciting clutch this season. So. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please come back for more. You can always subscribe, like, leave a comment, follow us on Instagram. We are at Leviathan period snakes. Uh, again, I am Courtney and I appreciate you watching.